All right. Well, again, good morning, everybody, and thank you for showing up. Uh, yes, I did change your attendance, so you're good. Um, go ahead and turn your cameras off, please. <clears throat> All right. So for the most part, most people did pretty well on the quiz yesterday. I did, as you probably saw, grade it. Um, and most of you did a good job with, as far as um, your class, I had kind of messed up. Not everyone was able to do the screenshots um, right away. Some of you went back and fixed it, so I appreciate that. Some of you sent me remind messages um, indicating right, well, that you morning, guys did watch it. Most part, most people did pretty well. Sorry, there we go. All right, so Ruel is here now, so I'll go ahead and change his attendance. Okay, so we've watched, uh, we've read Act 1 all, all the way through now. So we've done scenes 1, 2, and 3. Remember, scene 1 was with Flavius and Morellus, and it was them being upset with the Roman people for basically betraying Pompey and, like, immediately, like, just going with the flow as far as, like, whoever's in charge. The second scene was Cassius uh, talking with Brutus um, about, like, how Brutus is just as good as Caesar, and he's kind of getting a feel for where Caesar or where Brutus is as far as how he feels about Caesar. Um, Caesar is also approached by the soothsayer and is told to beware the Ides of March. And then finally, uh, two days ago, when we read Act One, Scene Three, we saw a bunch of supernatural events occur. So we saw the slave with his left arm on fire that remained unscorched, so it didn't burn. Uh, we saw the lion who glared at Casca and uh, didn't attack him. We saw, um, or well, technically we heard from uh, a bunch of women saying that there was uh, men walking up and down the street like on fire. And then there was an owl during the day. So some of it was supernatural, some of it was just unnatural. So like, again, the lion and the owl would be unnatural. They're not necessarily supernatural, but the two instances of fire would have been supernatural. Um, so, that's pretty much where we're at right now. The last thing that occurred in scene three was Casca had talked about, or not Casca, but Cassius had talked about forging letters to make it look like it was from a bunch of Roman citizens to build uh, Brutus's ego up and to um, claim that they were afraid of uh, Caesar. And so he has Cinna, one of the other conspirators, go and hide them around um, Brutus's property for him to find. And that's basically the last of it. They want Brutus on their side because, again, the people love Brutus almost, if not as much as Caesar. So they do they do love Brutus and respect him. So they know that if they kill Caesar without him, the people would turn on them in an instant. With Brutus, they have a chance to perhaps persuade the people. And that's pretty much where we're at. So today, like I told you, um, is going to be a movie day. So there will be a discussion after the movie that you're going to have to do on Canvas. So we will be watching um, Act 1 together right now, the movie or the play or whatever. Um, well, well, Joanna, let me make sure that I fix that and make sure that you guys are all extra confused. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so going to this week's module. So again, we are in week, uh, oops, too far, week 19. So, so far this week, you guys have had the catch-up day. You've had the Mender of Bad Souls quiz that we did yesterday about the podcast. A um, couple of you, I don't believe, finished it, or some of you had blanks. Um, if you just entered it blank, um, I gave you two attempts, so you can redo it. Um, I am not always going to give you time to listen to the podcast, especially this semester, now that we've had a full semester of doing it. Um, so you might not always get that same amount of time to be able to listen to it and type it out at the same time. But um, the point is, like, for example, I'm going to be posting a podcast either tonight or tomorrow. So there will be a new podcast for you to listen to. My expectation is, because I'm not assigning any other homework over the weekend, is at some point over the weekend that you listen to it. Um, so please make sure that you do that. Um, it's going to be about the writing process. Um, I will be taking questions. So um, that's one of the things that I will have. I'm actually going to be 
posting um, in just a little bit while you are working on this um, next thing. But act one, scene one movie discussion is what you're going to be working on right now. And there's five questions. You only have to answer one of them. So after watching act one, um, again, it's going to be something that you're going to be doing to like talk to one another, get some ideas so you could see other people's thoughts too. Um, but the first question, and again, you only have to answer one of these is, do you think Cassius thinks that Caesar is a genuine threat or is it because of his ego that he wants to overthrow Caesar? The second question, whose imper- interpretation do you believe of the supernatural or unnatural events that occur in Act 1, Scene 3? Um, so that's more related to the play, technically. But um, So Casca offers one explanation of why he thinks that the supernatural events are occurring. Cassius offers another. Who do you think is correct and obviously why? Uh, what is the difference about uh, what is different about how the characters acted in the movie versus what you expected them to be like? Uh, what is the biggest difference between hearing the audio and watching the video? And does each actor seem like a good casting choice for their character? For example, does the character playing Cassius make a good Cassius? Or does the actor playing Caesar make a good Caesar? And you don't have to limit it to those two characters. You could also talk about Antony, Brutus, Casca. Um, maybe not Senna so much because he like had like two or three lines. Um, so you're going to answer one of those initial posts. After that, yeah, you'll need to refresh the page in order to see other people's responses. So you'll submit it. Once you submitted it, you probably won't see anybody else's responses. Um, but then after that, you'll need to refresh it. And then you should hopefully start seeing other people. And then you'll need to respond to two people who answered a different question to you. Explain again, this is the important part, why you agree or disagree in two to three sentences for each reply. Um, I want you to, like it says, a different, so if you answer number three, Sorry, had a sneeze there. Um, so if you answered number three, don't respond to people who answered number three. And respond to somebody who answered number two or number four or five, one. But that's what you're going to do. So um, remember, in order to do this, especially for my new people, you just click on reply. And this is where you will enter your answer. And then you just click post reply, then refresh, and then you should start seeing other people's. But remember, it says explain in four to five sentences, okay? So again, a short paragraph uh, response. You don't have to necessarily use a quote, but I would like you to use specific examples uh, from either the play and or movie to uh, help prove your point. Um, so yeah, so... You'll be working on that right now. Um, I will go ahead and put you into the breakout rooms. If you have questions, um, Joanna, what was the wow about? Was it about me confusing you or was it a different thing? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put you in breakout rooms. You're going to work on the discussion. Um, again, choose one of the questions, four to five sentences. Once you're done with that, you're going to reply to two other people. Okay. And then right before class ends, I will, the last five or 10 minutes, uh, the breakout room, um, I will close the breakout rooms and I will explain. Um, what I need from you guys, because I'm going to be recording the podcast, but I would like something, I would like some questions from you. So I'll go over that when you are done.